right guys so i need to do this quick one for everybody it's very important especially to our, our freshmen with the college of humanities and college of education i've received a feedback from all of you on trying to register for your courses and then there is no subject possible subject that could be loaded that's the feedback we get then how you're unable to register so this is what is happening for those with other colleges you'll have to still go through that process so please hold on maybe the portal the the courses your specific courses haven't been uploaded yet but this is especially for those with college of humanities and college of education the courses has been pre-registered for you okay so all that you need to do in order for your courses to be reflected at mis web is to go through this short process that i'm going to show you so what you need to do is get your search engine and then type sts.ugin.edu.th i will include this link in the comment section of this video the description section of this video so please check it so you'll be able to log in so sts.ugin dot edu dot gh that is it so let's search for it and do it quickly just you know to get this thing for you so you're able to register you know you'll have to register for your course your do your online academic registration before you do your you'll be able to apply for a whole so what you need to do here is enter your student id this is the portal i'm talking about so enter your student id the one that is on your admission letter okay and then enter your password enter your password this is the interface please look at it so you don't get, provide your information elsewhere okay so we are still updating but this is a, a, a portal where you can do a lot of things you can even pay your your fees academic fees here okay but what we are going to do today the mo if it's your first time logging into this portal this survey would pop up for you to do it because this is not the first time for her she wouldn't have to so what you, what we are looking for is your online academic registration so it is this herc and UG, herc slash ugrc registration herc is humanities education required courses so you see why i mentioned this is more it's going to be very helpful to the humanities and education student and the UGRC is University of Ghana required courses. Everybody in University of Ghana is required to do University of Ghana required courses. Courses, and then those are the colleges of humanities and education are required to do humanities and education required courses. These are core courses that, without them, if you don't satisfy all the requirements, you wouldn't be able to graduate. So you have to register for one UGRC and one HEC every semester until you, after your second year so click on the herc and new grc so this is it you see so at this point you look at the courses that you were given on your admission letter and you realize that the courses those courses on your admission letter has been pre-registered for you so these are the courses that you are supposed to do so this is a combination of education information studies and psychology okay there's an issue with the information studies we'll talk about that later but this is about registration so look at it that all the three courses that was given to you on your admission letter has been registered so you scroll down to register for your herc this is the herc course so what you need to do is click here go through all of them and select the one that you need you want to do you are doing it just for one semester so it doesn't matter and it may get full so you have to be fast so you select whatever you want to do and click on register we have already registered so we don't have to register again okay so click on register and it would load then you scroll down again to click to register for UGRC. so click to add UGRC get it so what you have to do is select one of these courses either academic writing or critical thinking then you select the campus okay the, the course group you click on register after you've selected the you've chosen either 
academic writing or critical thinking whichever way you are going to do the two okay so just click on register so the moment you register for your HELC and your UGLC, you see them here. So you see courses registered. So you registered for HELC. This is the HELC and this is the UGLC. Okay, so what you need to do is just go through to make sure you've registered. It's showing here the registered courses has been listed below. And then you also go up to cross-check with the courses that you have here whether you have all the courses you were given so what you have to do at this point is print a proof of your registration so just print a proof of this registration i'll let you see how it pops up okay so this is how it would show proof of registration so it has your name and your student id your campus and the program okay so this is how it would show you see the core, co the elective courses you were given is up there, and then your HEC and regional C. So this is a proof of registration that you would get for your some your ac online academic registration, and you need to complete this before you are able to do your you are able to apply for whole. So please do that quickly, and when you do this, as you prepare to come to school it will be reflected on the mis web for those who do humanities and education it will be reflected on your mis web because the that's where your results will be coming so please go through this stage quickly and you'll be able to get your proof of registration download your proof of registration and you'll be good to go thank you all and have a nice day please leave all your questions i would respond to them and i'm sure you have a lovely time joining ghana's premier university thank you bye